I honestly have no idea. Anyway, we have it ready from both players. 40 minutes. Let's go. Let's get started with game number one of this first match in the semifinals in 3 2 1. Tetris. Should I just. Yeah, I'll just put my mic a little bit further away. It looks like it is the same piece. That's. We did it, gang. Jacob Maddox asking on YouTube, what do y'all think Fractal's going to do with the Mega Masters money? Um, spend it all on Bitcoin. It's... Gamble, gamble it all away. <laughs> Lotion says Vibe. <laughs> that is very true. Goody right now with a perfect game. Ooh, extra Tetris. And perfect game. One eighty two for Scooty, one forty two for Alex. Nice little Jake tuck there from Scooty. Still perfect. Lucas saying, did you know 90% of gamblers quit just before you hit it big? That is very true. Um, just kidding. We do not condone gambling. Uh, cough, cough, YouTube overlords. Please don't ban us. Cough, cough. Scooty now with a burn, 274, 37,000 points in the lead over Alex T. Scooty solving that J dependency. Our borrow saying, honestly, I hope. Honestly, I'm hoping to never see a DraftKings sponsorship in Classic Tetris. Scooty with Lombard dependency kind of jamming out right now. Gets a Tetris. Hold on, I might need to fix Scooty's cam. I didn't do a good job setting it up, didn't I? Fired. That's what I get. I'm fired now. There you go. Close enough. Alex had a bit of a dependent board in his stack. Not dependent, but it had a couple of holes in his stack. Scooty a bit of trouble right now. Gonna be Tetris ready, but with a messy stack. It's going to be row four. Let's get the third Tetris. Now 461. 422 for Alex. So very efficient game for the two of them. But Scooty's still with this kind of messy board. Needs a J piece. But solves the pen. No, he doesn't go for the dependency solve. Go for the Lombard to the right side. Forced to do some more burns. And Alex T will take the lead with that Tetris. Capitalizing on <laughs> Scooty's tape. What was that smile? Dude, that's the type of smile I see in my nightmares. Scooty getting in a bit high up there, but still with a clean board. Dust bang down a Tetris. Both players potential for a 600k transition.
2015% saying Alex with a casual case of bulk towels next to him. Uh, he seems to use it for push-ups. So that's a that's a thing, I guess. Congrats to him for that. Ricky bought on you uh, YouTube on Twitch asking, "Are we breaking records today?" Maybe. What records are left to be broken? There's always the uh, 39 score record. Scooter can transition at 584. Ooh, doesn't hit the teeth tuck. But gonna be okay. Bangs on another Tetris 608. Alex still a level 18. Does bring down a Tetris. Now a 617. But there is the score record into 39 with the line cap. Uh, there's still the lines. Old record, I guess. Alexi has that at 245 lines. Oh, 345 lines. With the level 39 line cap. Vibe saying, with Alex, there's any record. That is very true. I think Alex does have practically every record at this point. With our new format. Maybe not the earliest rollover record, but I don't even know what that is. Nobody has kept track. Anyway, Alex at 801 752 for Scooty. Oh, Sharky, thank you so much for the raid. Party of 24. Why don't I have any alert set up? What is happening? Alex with the Lombard Dependency. It's going to be a triple. Solves the Jade Dependency. Blue Scooting a bit of trouble here. Needs to do some burns. Ooh, not getting the right set of pieces. And getting the getting bursted with square pieces as well. A nice burn there with the S. Bangs on a Tetris. Solves the Jade Dependency. Now 826. Less than a Tetris separating these two players. 848 for Alex. Both players at level 34. But Scooty ahead in the line count. Sharky saying, I just had a crazy set of games. Very nice. Scooty, gonna be Lombard dependent once again, but does solve the Lombard Pensy. Another dependency solved there with a J piece. Gonna be Tetris ready. 900,000 points at level 26. Bangs on a Tetris. Alex with the definitive lead right now. 981. Looking for a max at level 26. Does get the max out. On Alex's side. Sharky saying first I maxed by 39 points, then the next game I got a 1.2 and level 30. Then max two more times to tie the world record. Six maxes and two hours of stream isn't too bad. GG's. And congrats on the world record tie. And the level 30. I think that's your first level 30, right? Very nice. Scooty looking for a 1.1 into 29. But Alex already has a 1.1. Barely into level 28. And Scooty needs a good set of pieces right now. Oh, he needs a Lombard right now. He needs a Lombard. It's the Lombard all the way to the right side. He needs to do a lot of burning though. Goes for the Lombard on the right and then solves the dependency. So lucky set of pieces there for Scooty. Alex also in a bit of trouble here, but does clean the stout. He's going to be set up for a traditional right side. Goes aggressive for the Tetris. Bangs on a Tetris now with a 1.2. So great survival here from Scooty, but still not in any position of the Tetris right now. Gets a Lombard all the way to the right side. Left side, though. Is Tetris ready? Needs a Lombard. Needs a Lombard. Doesn't get the Lombard to the right. Pops out with a 1.18. Alex will take game number one. And are ready from Scooty, so let's get started with game number two and three, two, a one. Tetris. Adam VR Bass vibing to the music. Do do if you do exclamation point music, you'll know that we use audio from White Bat. Wipe that audio. Makes excellent playlists. All copyright free.
and I did see Kingsman putting the Macherino link on Twitch as well. If you'd like to help contribute to the prize pool, clearly $1,500, $1,515. Why can't I say that number? Javon T asking, that was the wrong countdown, right? What, what wrong countdown? There's only one type of countdown. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. I did it incorrectly. But they still started anyway, so it didn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I'm still getting used to uh, the countdown working now in Nestor's Champs because we started the season with that thing not working for some reason. Like, whenever we would do the countdown on Nestor's Champs, uh, it would just screw up the players captures not the captures but like the players wouldn't be able to see their opponents games so that was that was bizarre um that did get fixed though and of course shout out to yobi or uh yihama kickass for uh creating that's just champs Jacob Maddox asking, has a perfect transition in competitive play ever happened? Not that I'm aware of. There's been plenty of 700k transitions, but... If a perfect transition has happened, maybe it was like in CT Wars or something. Embrace the jinx as wrongly. Yeah. Choi on YouTube saying, One time I got a perfect clear. Oh, I love when, like, commentators go absolutely batshit insane for perfect clears. Even nowadays. Uh, scooting a bit of trouble here is a bit dependent on the board. Gonna be Lombard dependent on column 8. That does solve the dependency. Set up for a dirty Tetris. Behind by 76,000 points. Let's get the dirty Tetris. 434 for Alex. 358 for Scooty. Regardless of that, uh, kind of a suffer mid 18 for Scooty still has a respectable pace right now. 430 and 104 lines is potential for a 550k transition. But Alex looking for a mid to high 600k transition with this efficiency. And Scooty now in a lot of trouble. Oh god. It's a lumbar all the way to the left side. Solve the J dependency. Oh, man. Give him a good set of pieces here. He's in a lot of trouble. Nice adjustment there. With the, what, nice placement with the J piece to accommodate the flat T. That was very smart there from Scooty. But still going to transition with a low... With a high 400k. So sub 500k transition. And Alex T looking for the 700k transition. Still has 17 lines to go before the 19 speeds. Scooty transitions at 494. Over 6 Tetris's 
behind. Keep in mind, he's also 20 lines ahead. And on level 19, while Alex is at level 18. So the speed difference is going to make his line count a lot further ahead. And Alex T with a 700k transition. Could this be world record, actually? What's the world record for transitions in comp? 735 for Alex T. That might be our second ever 735 in CTL. So I know Dog had a 730 before, but I don't know how high that was. So yeah, this is exactly the worst thing Scooty could be expecting right now. Alex T bordering on a world record transition in comp. And Alex at 837, level 21, 164,000 points ahead. And also behind by two levels over Scooty. And Scooty once again bursted with square pieces at level 23. Can Alex also get the 1.4 at level 29? There's already too, too many burns for the 1.5, but... It's still a tremendous game right now from Alex. Scooty It's going to be Lombard dependent on Clomp 2. Converts it into a J dependency. Solves it with a Lombard. Nice combination of pieces there to solve all those dependencies for Scooty. Sets up a Vitz. Doesn't get the right piece. Doesn't even get a square for the... To clean up his board for the Vitz. And Alex with a max out at level 24. Scooty with a Vitz now. 795 at level 27. Alex with a couple of burns. Has a J dependency. Solves a J dependency. Looking for a 1.1 into 26. Yeah, 897 for Scooty. It's going to be one off a of max out. If he gets two... What is it with these squares? Good lord. Scooty forcing some more burns right now. Nice flat placement there with the L piece. Gonna be Tetris ready. Now getting droughted by 30 pieces. Oh yeah, so the... The 1.3 is probably not gonna happen after that drought. Once Alex T hits it. But we'll see. Scooty transitions with a 983... Gets a llama for a Tetris, but needs to burn this down. It's going very aggressive. Hits a T-spin. Gets a J piece all the way to the left side. And doesn't solve the J piece dependency, but does use a square piece for the double. On Calm 2, still safe enough. Looking to get Tetris ready for here for Scooty. As Alex is still level 28. Bangs out of Tetris on Scooty's side. 1.08. Gotta go aggressive here. As Alex is over four Tetrises at this point. In the lead, in terms of pace. Scooty bangs on the Tetris now, only behind by 100,000 points. 1.12 for Scooty, bangs on another Tetris, 1.16. Alex T transitions with a 1.27. Oh, Alex in a bit of trouble. He's in a bit of trouble. This is actually Scooty's opportunity to take the lead. Scooty, 1.27. It's the score to beat. Burst it with Lombards and Scooty, but this is still not over yet. Needs 40,000 points and it has a messy stack. Nice split double there from Scooty. Solved the penalty with a J piece. Gets a Lombard for a double. Has 34 lines to go before level 39. Twenty-one thousand. You could just burn this out, really. Oh, Miss drops a couple of pieces right now. Oh, this could be very problematic if he doesn't get the right RNG. Nice Lombard salt dependency. Oh my goodness, Scooty. Goes for the double, still needs 4,000 points. 1,000, and it's gonna do it for Scooty! With the chase down! And we have a tied set. One point three three. 
considering how much of a suffer game he was having, a 1.3 at level 39 is incredible. And a raid from Scooty, so let's get started with game number three. And three, two, one, Tetris. <laughs> Scooty's saying, bro, I'm using Breddy on Tetris, Jim. For those of you unaware, we are not doing Twitch streams for our CTL matches, so I cannot actually see uh, our players' like actual game. This is all calibration calibrated with Nestor's Champs, which is a third-party program created by Ikama Chickas. Oh, Scooty's gonna top out. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. <laughs> but we got a raid from both players, so let's get started with game number four in five, four, three, two, one, Tetris. And then, of course, I look over on YouTube chat, and there's two people arguing over literally the most unimportant thing. <laughs> Literally, someone was just like, dude, this game was incredible, and someone else was like, well, actually, yeah, oh, got the couple of glasses. Actually, you must not watch a lot of Tetris. Who cares? Like, who cares? Just just have fun. Good lord. Scooty with a bit of a tuck setup right now. Needs a J-piece or a S-spin. Goes for the J-tuck. Defender with a bracket. Actually, we don't have the bracket like man set up on YouTube. Uh, but with the brackets are looking like this is the semifinals. And we have another match coming up between Dog playing Tetris and Gerald Freeman. So. Two oh nine at forty one lines, two oh nine uh one ninety one now two thirteen for Alex at forty three lines. <laughs> Somebody trying to set up the bracket command on Twitch. Oh, man. We may not have the bracket command, but we do have Match Reno if you'd like to help contribute to the prize pool. Goody with the uh, not messy stack, but does have a hole in this stack. Set up for a row three. Is Tetris ready? Things down two Tetrises now at 326. That's 66 lines for Scooty. 310 for Alex. And there we go. We got Discord there. Ricky Bot. I'd like to join our Discord. This is pretty, like, neck and neck. Nothing really significant in terms of lead. The most significant thing is Scooty's row 3 setup, which he's gonna have to burn down eventually, but, like, other than that, it's, like, it's too early. It's 
Also, my mic is peaking again. For those of you unaware, Scooty is looking for his first CTL championship. Ah, uh, Colin, I get it because my username is BK Rick and it's speaking on the mic. <laughs> Anyway, 489 for Scooty, 454 Alex T. <laughs> uh, when is CTM being played? Uh, April 5th, I think. Is he still reading YouTube chat? Yeah, it's sometimes. Nothing really happening though. So they stopped fighting, so that's good. Our bar was saying Mega Masters finishes on Friday and Saturday. So there you go. Alexi set up for a dirty Tetris on the left side. Gets a nice dirty Tetris. 548. Uh, a bit of a mess drop there for Alex. Where can I twitch check times? Uh in their Discord, probably. Ben Prez sweet saying, I can't believe I get to watch Blue Scooty live. This is amazing. I know, right? It's the greatest thing ever. Anyway, Blue Scooty transition at 655, so. Definitely doing what he needs to do to try and make a little bit of a comeback and force this decider from Alex T. 706 now for Scooty. A Lombard dependent. Looks like he hung a piece on the left side. Or maybe he adjusted for it and isn't getting a Lombard, but gets a Lombard for the dependency solve. Oh, Alex in a bit of trouble, not getting the right set of RNG. Both players were kind of suffering from that 20 drought, but Alex was suffering a lot more. As Scooty is taking a almost 200,000 point lead, make that 200,000 after that Tetris. Sorry about the noise in chat, my bad. No worries, it's like literally the harmless in the in the grand scheme of things. At least it wasn't whatever was going on in monthly Tetris. Their YouTube chat was going crazy. <laughs> 8.53 for Scooty, 6.26 for Alex. So yeah, Scooty looking for a potential, I'd say, into 26 max out, which could give him the opportunity to 1.2 into 29 with safe tournament play. Dan V saying slander. You know I'm right, Dan V, though. It's not even slander. Your chat is so trash sometimes. Or I guess not your chat, but well, I, I'll call it your chat because it is practically your channel. Eight thirty-four now. Eight sixty-eight for Alex. One point one for Scooty. So very, very efficient game from Scooty. <laughs> Tech near is like not sure if I trust British chat. Actual base take. So yeah, Scooty doing a great job right now. Bit of 1.2 with this next Tetris. Now it does get the Tetris for the 1.2. Is set up for another one. Will love a Lombar, but goes aggressive. Needs a Lombar. Is not getting the Lombar. 
And that's just going to do for Scooty. Topping out with a 1.29. Alex. You need a 1.29 to take the game and be into the finals. Oh, yeah. 1.219, not 1.29. Well, what do you prefer? Me me overshooting the the counter or me being like, Alex, you just need a max out to win. You don't. Just need 17,000 more points. Three thousand. And that's going to do it for Alex. He's going to move on to the finals. Alex, he's my hero! Says Ricky Bot. GG's. And... So GG's to Scooby for making it to the semis. We'll get a cut of the prize pool. I believe it's like $200. And if you'd like to help contribute to Price Pool, you can do so with Matcherino. Alex looking for his back to back championship run. Nice spin there. Very clutch. Uh, looks like he's not going to get the max out. For level 26. He still can get it into 26, though. He's not just ready. Oh my god, that L spin on the left side. Not only did he need a very clutch 5 tap, but he also needed to immediately puck by pressing the uh, right. Scooty sets up a T spin. But doesn't get the T piece in time. Set, gets a Tetris 961, but SV already with a 1.1. At level 27, so looking for a potential 1.2 into 29. And SV now is going to be Tetris ready. Opens up his right well and bangs on a Tetris 1.17. Nathan Patty saying it would have been cool to see that T-spin at 19 speed. And SV's going to trench in with 1.2 at level 29. Scooty going to have to burn. Has the max out, but still over almost 200,000 points behind. He is behind in the line counter, in the line count, though. So this is still not insurmountable by any means. Even if, even if this is a significant lead on SV's side. But Scooty sets up a Tetris and gets a center world Tetris. 1.2. And it's still Tetris ready. SV in a bit of trouble here. This could do it for SV. Doesn't get the Lombard Assault Dependency. He's going to top out with a 1.24. So, Scooty, 1.24 is the score to beat. <laughs> what happened, says SV. But this is not over yet. Scooty set up for a Tetris, but burns this down. Just needs about 20,000 more points. Seven forty is the score to beat. So it's at seven thirty-five. Why did I say seven? I meant C forty, not seven forty. And there you go. With that burn, he will take the game. And feel free to play it out if you want. Why not? Maybe we can see a rollover. Okay, SV, you actually have choice now of whether or not you want. To play on a 19 start. Oh, SV's going for the 19. First time we've been seeing that in a while. It might have been even the first time this season that anybody's picked 19. 
Let's get started with game number two and three, two, one Tetris. Let me give us uh, Squeaky his heart. There we go. Yeah, thank you very much, Blue Scooty's grandpa. People on YouTube asking how many people start on eight, 19 instead of 18. Not a lot. It's not really an often thing that happens. Um, we gave people, we gave players the option in Division One, starting season 23, I believe, but not a lot of people have gone for it. Scooty starting off with a bit of a dependent board here. Kind of a messy stack. But the thing about Scooty is that he's become kind of characterized for being someone who's more comfortable and more efficient on 19 speeds than on 18. Um, a lot of times you would see him kind of digging, burning in the 18 speeds. But then once the 19 happens, it's like something clicks and he just goes ham and takes all these leads and takes the games and all everything so gonna be interesting to see what what happens this time around as we solve the lumber dependency in the center do you want to say scooty's been asking for faster matches in the ctm discord yeah so who knows maybe this is actually a good thing for scooty to take a 2-0 lead, but you know, SV is also a really good player. Um very efficient regardless of what speed you go in. 212 for Scooty, 252 for SV. Looks like SV does have the slight lead right now. Scooty waiting for the long bar. Gets along for Tetris. Both players with a pretty even stack here. Scooty with some dependencies. Not really dependencies, but parity issues, but does solve those issues quite nicely. SV with a very efficient start in these first 60 lines. 325 at 64 lines. So this is right now early days, but still potential for a 700k transition right now. Sets up a Lombard dependency on Calm 7. Scooty getting a bit high up there, but does get the right set of pieces to set up some burns. And keep this board manageable. Oh, misses the T-spin. This could have been very problematic, but does get the Lombard in time for the Tetris. SV solving the Lombard dependency. Had to do some burns, which cost some efficiency. And could give Scooty the opportunity to catch back up. But Scooty also in a bit of trouble here. Solves, sets up a Lombard dependency on the left side. Goes for the Tetris first. And now solves that Lombard dependency on the left. Nice five tap there from Scooty. Going to be Tetris ready. I'm sorry if I don't read any of the chat right now because this is the first time I'm actually commentating a 19 star game. <laughs> so I actually have to pay attention the entire time. <laughs> Scooty goes for the dependency solve instead of the Tetris. That wasn't a Lombard dependency, but it was a uh, bit of a jagged board. Chose to even it out with that Lombard instead of going for the Tetris. Now at 424, 102 lines. SV at 480,000 at 105 lines. Bangs on a Tetris 504. And Scooty kind of pulls down as well on the left side, but almost it right back up. Now with the Lombard dependency on Calm 3, solves the Lombard dependency. Nice skim there with the Z piece. It's going to be touched already. Bangs on a touch. Just 502 for Scooty. SV looking for a potential 600k transition. Well, not really transition, but you know what I mean. 600,000 before 103 lines. SV 550 even. Cho was asking what lines do we need to go from level 19 to level 20 on a level 19 start, which is 140 lines, as Nathan Patty said. SV goes for the goes to cover up the dependency. Didn't get the Lombard time, but finally gets a Lombard. Gonna be trying to, trying to clean this up. Finally open on the right side and bangs on a Tetris. 658 for SV, 649 for Scooty. So Scooty now has brought this back. We are neck and neck. SV sets up a Lombard dependency, solves it first. Gonna be Tetris ready. 
and does bang down a Tetris 685. Scooty ahead in the line count. Already level 21 and still behind in score. We have a missed drop there for Scooty. Maybe a double flip. But gonna be okay. Sets up a Vitz. Doesn't get the Lombard in time, so gonna have to do some burns. But does get the Lombard for a Tetris. 711 for Scooty. 713 for SV. Behind the line counter still. Both players are even and Tetris ready. Some very efficient games, especially in 19, which is exactly what you what you expect to see with two players of this caliber. 